Welcome back, everyone. We are just about to find out. Yes. Kinda had a feeling he would, uh, he'd be dead. There's another box. Two more boxes. Three more boxes. Perspective's head. I got another fun times barrel. <laughs> well, bad news, Vanoi. Your two mates are gonna die. Unless you know how to use a trauma kit. <laughs> Any luck out there? I found your trauma kit. Kit, your medic is dead. Oh fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Woohoo! All right. What was that weapon I got? Level fourteen. I. Euthanasia kit. <laughs> it's a shotgun long gun. Well, I don't use long guns. I use heavy weapons. And I'm kind of in need of using a... Uh, or in finding a heavier heavy weapon. How are you peeps today? You doing good? I hope you are. It's difficult finding good days. Sometimes. Other times, good days are just, I don't know, ready to pounce on you. And then you have the not so good days. But yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you're having a good day today, peeps. Dead iconoclasts everywhere. Looks like a scene from uh, Starship Troopers. <laughs> Minus the uh, the blood. <laughs> Ooh, level twenty Jolter pistol. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. start I uh, I was chatting with 65 what the hell I was chatting with some peeps on uh, extra life's discord and they all agreed if we could build uh, at least we being the three of us that were talking if we could oh no I'm over encumbered I can't run if we could build uh, models from the Dark Souls, we would be the happiest people on the planet. Ah. I probably should use my heavy weapons. Loot, corpse, and a I mean, aside from stepping in acid, I'm alright. <laughs> but yeah, 
I really want to get into model building and uh, make. Uh, Dissident? Huh. I keep inter interrupting myself, I'm so sorry. I want to build models because it used to be something I did when I was a child. And I really, really, really like building things. My, uh... Hey. My mum reminded me that when I was, I don't know, five, six years old. I was working on 500, 750, and 1,000 piece puzzles, because I just liked putting them together and seeing the uh, the picture that came out. <laughs> and there's this one story she always reminds me of, and it makes me smile, is it was the one time I actually felt special. She would take me to the daycare place, and... They would say, okay, so what's his, uh, what's his favorite activity? And she said, oh, puzzles. He really likes puzzles. And they, re they replied, oh, we have, uh, we have like the 10, 15, and 20 piece puzzles. He should, uh, he should like that. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. no. Give, the, uh, <laughs> give him the two, two, 250 and 500 piece puzzles. That'll keep him busy for the whole day. And they just kind of gawked at her. And they were like, What? Are you serious? He can do 500 piece puzzles? And I still, till this day, see the proud, uh, the proud expression my mum wore when she just said, Yep, my child can do 500 piece puzzles. <laughs> Terry's birthday! No, we are not celebrating Terry's birthday. Aww, Terry's dead, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included. But let his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pet the cane. <laughs> well, I... Uh... <laughs> I would think that'd be common knowledge, like common sense. Don't pet the canids. <laughs> but apparently Terry did not learn his lesson, and now we're not celebrating your birthday, Terry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to all employees of Terra One Publications. Yes, the rumors are true. We're leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra Two instead. In accordance with the evacuation orders, we are to await a shuttle out of Cascadia. That's the town, that's what it was, Cascadia. When we get word that our ride is on the way, we'll shut to this facility, pack up everything, and lock the door on the way out. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. I'm sure reassignments are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Dissident Hunter number 112. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, nobody will ever find out what happened to Dissident Hunter number in issue number 112. <laughs> Halcyon Holding, Holdings Corporate Board. Public notice number 117 on the issuing of a hazard clause for Terra Warm. This notice, issued on January 12th, 2343, serves as the public denouncement of Terra One as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, the Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra One. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra One will be officially considered illegal territory. As this is a unanimous decision, any corporation caught operating on Terra One after the evacuation period will face fines and possible disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. Interesting. <coughs> 
So they were forced, not forced, they wanted to evacuate because of how dangerous everything was. But uh, Sanja told a different story of sorts. Printer is currently in install rollers. Turn the ground. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I wanted to see what else I could do on that terminal. Oh well, time to return to Graham. Gra Graham. Graham. And I'm over encumbered. Wasn't there a uh, vending machine? Oh, glorious! Let me let me loot everything first, and then I'll go sell a lot of stuff at the vending machine, so that I'm no longer over encumbered. <gasps> uh, what? A bit more stuff. With the big cartridges. Ooh, 65. You make it look so easy. 500 bit cartridges, thank you. I'm gonna have more bits than I know what to do with. Really. Stogies. Shipment status, UDL masks, oil, or all factory filters, repair, replacement oil rollers. UDL mark for security masks are meant for use in crowd dispersal scenarios. They are not appropriate for a workplace environment. Your purchase request has been denied. <laughs> So whom it may concern, I was talking to one of our guards, and he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of our guards have been have had asthma attacks from the air here. We believe it is because of their gas masks. I've attached a purchase request for safety equipment for the rest of us. Sincerely, Darlene Bolshul. Crowd dispersal scenarios, that's... To whom it may concern, my boss is using all factory filters to ward off the stench of sulfur from this law forsaken planet. I've attached a purchase request for a number of filters so that the rest of us don't have to suffer. Sincerely, Darlene Bolshov. Ms. Bolshov, bogus testing indicates that the air quality on Terra 1 does not warrant the use of all factory filters or any other scent blocking equipment. Your purchase request for something to deal with the stink of sulfur is denied. Wow! board is being real dicks. <coughs> to whom it may concern, the rollers in our printing press facility are degraded and will break soon. I've attached the purchase order for new ones. Sincerely, darling. Ms. Boldshaw, our records indicate that your facility is not due for replacement parts for another five months. We will send new parts, including rollers, when that time comes. They aren't lasting as long because of the sulfur in this fucking air. <laughs> we need new parts before the ones we've got break. Miss Bullshop, according to the manufacturer, your current rollers are capable of retaining efficiency in all environments. We have no evidence to support your claim that the rollers are, quote, degrading because of this fucking air, quote, unquote. <laughs> Notice Shuster C. To whom it may concern, I, Caden Shuster, do hereby declare my official resignation. Delivery services to the Terra One printing facility shall cease forthwith. During my tenure of service, I have made known numerous complaints regarding the hazards of working on this law forsaken rock, including but not limited to. The infestation of unknown insects in my sinus cavities, resulting in weeks of unpaid leave, the as yet unreimbursed loss of several articles of clothing due to the acidic properties of the local atmosphere. <laughs> um, the 
constant unrelenting, unrelenting aggression of local wildlife, a persistent itching and cough, malady in my lungs, likely due to breathing in trace amounts of sulfur, equally persistent indigestion, a symptom of an overall nutritional problem stemming from the fact that I am in fact allergic to fish, which is the main diet provided to service workers based in Stelra Bay. <laughs> I have received the following responses to these complaints, all of which I deem unacceptable. At my resulting loss of all factory senses, I was deemed, quote, lucky to no longer suffer the stench of fish and sulfur. My wardrobe was replaced with uniforms out of Stella Bay, which suffered the exact same degradation, and I was thus no better off. At my insistence, I was awarded the service of a local hunter, one N. Ramner, Ramnerim Wentworth spent the entire service call inebriated and offending my sensibilities with off color language. <laughs> After a thorough medical examination, I was found to be in quote unquote working health, which was deemed more fortunate than many, at my insistence that additional dietary needs to be needs to be needs be offered. I was instead awarded extra supplies of toilet paper. <laughs> After this latest response, I hereby tell whoever is reading this to go hang themselves <laughs> and that your replacement rollers, ink carts, belting, binding, bindings, key stamps, lubricants, and whatever else in these infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. <laughs> Good day to you. Sincerely, Gaden Shuster. <laughs> Jesus Christ, corporate really doesn't care about their workers. And to think I helped all of them on the Tour of One. I feel absolutely dreadful about that now. I truly do. And with that, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, ooh, level 21. But it's a lock gun, I don't need it. I, I do want it, but I don't need it. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you tune into the next video, where we hopefully talk to Graham and he gives us some sort of reward. Cheers. <coughs> I'm keeping.